Sixth grade, unit one, lesson 15. More nets, more surface area. Number one, Jada drew a net for a polyhedron and calculated its surface area. A, what polyhedron can be assembled from this net? A triangular prism can be assembled from this net. B. Jada made some mistakes in her area calculation. What were the mistakes? She used an area of 12 centimeters for the triangles instead of 6 centimeters. She forgot to multiply half the base times the height. C. Find the surface area of the polyhedron. Show your reasoning. They provide us with the surface area for each figure. 20 square centimeters plus 16 square centimeters plus 12 square centimeters plus 6 square centimeters plus 6 square centimeters equals a total surface area of 60 square centimeters. Number 2. A cereal box is 8 inches by 2 inches by 12 inches. What is its surface area? Show your reasoning. If you get stuck, consider drawing a sketch of the box or its net and labeling the edges with their measurements. I decided to draw its net. Here's the top and the bottom, the right side and the left side, the front and the back. These dimensions are 2 inches by 12 inches and 8 inches by 12 inches. 8 by 12 is 96, so both the back and the front are 96 square inches. 2 by 12 is 24 inches, so both the right and the left are 24 square inches. And 8 times 2 is 16, so both the top and the bottom are 16 square inches. Add all of those individual surface areas together and you'll have the surface area for the whole figure. The total surface area is 272 square inches. Number 3. 12 cubes are stacked to make this figure. A. What is its surface area? We'll need to find the total surface area for the front, the back, the top, the bottom, the right, and the left. Represented in gold and numbered 1 through 6, you can see 6 square units for the front. So the front would be a total of 6 square units, and the back would also be a total of 6 square units. Representing the top in blue, another 6 square units. Both the top and the bottom are 6 square units. Representing the right side in green, another 6 square units. Both the right side and the left side are 6 square units. 6 square units by six different sides equals a total surface area of 36 square units. B. How would the surface area change if the top two cubes are removed? Here's a look at the stack after removing the top two cubes. From this angle, we can see the top, the front, and the right side. And as you can see, I've counted 15 square units that we can see. But what we can't see is the bottom, the back, and the left side. And those would also total 15. So adding them all up, we would have a total of 30. So after removing the top two cubes, the surface area would be reduced to 30 square units. Number four. Here are two polyhedra and their nets. Label all edges in the net with the correct lengths. A. These lengths are 10 units, these lengths are 4 units, and these lengths are 5 units. B. These lengths are 10 units, these lengths are 4 units, and these lengths are 13 units. Number 5. A. What three-dimensional figure can be assembled from the net? A square pyramid can be assembled from this net. B. What is the surface area of the figure? One grid square is one square unit. 
For the base, the area would be 4 times 4, or 16 square units. For the outer triangles, the area would be half of 4 times 5, or half of 20. 10 square units per triangle. With 4 triangles, 10 times 4 is 40, or 40 square units. 16 square units plus 40 square units equals 56 square units. The surface area of this net is 56 square units.